In this video, we will learn about z-scores. What is a z-score? What can it tell us? How do we calculate it? How do we know when answers are reasonable? And can I make a calculator in Excel? Wink! First of all, what is a z-score? A z-score is a measure of relative placement, telling us how many standard deviations a given value lies away from the mean and in which direction. How far means the distance from the mean in terms of standard deviations. In other words, start at the mean, how many standard deviations must we travel to arrive at x? Greater or less? Whether x is less than or greater than the mean. Z-scores are signed. If z is negative, x is less than the mean. Vice versa, x being less than the mean means it will have a negative z-score. Likewise, if z is positive, x is greater than the mean. And, in reverse, if x is greater than the mean, it will have a positive z-score. How do we calculate it? Given x, Calculate the z-score as follows. Take your deviation, x minus the mean, and divide that by the standard deviation. We're taking the distance of x away from the mean and seeing how many standard deviations fit into that distance. In other words, how many steps in the size of standard deviations would you have to travel away from the mean to arrive at x. What if we know z, but we want to find x? Use the inverted version of the z-score formula. In other words, the z-score formula solved for x. Do you remember how to solve for x? You would undo the mathematical operations until x is alone. So you might start by multiplying both sides by the standard deviation then adding the mean. x equals the mean plus the standard deviation a certain number of times. How many times? z times. Let's try some examples in the next video.